Hi guys, it's Summers here and welcome to another episode of my FIFA 2019 career mode Road to Glory with Aston Villa. The last episode we were really a lot of transfers going on, so this game, this time round I've just decided to smash on with some games. Hi there everybody, Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler, a big welcome to you all to the KCOM Stadium. And the match today, Hull City against Aston Villa. In his last game. On the wing gear, knocking in field, and we're just attempting a, our first attack of the game. Grealish has got the ball out again, left, and knocked it into the box, but it's a bit of a deep through ball, and uh, that was cut out by the goalkeeper. Into the centre of the park, and Grealish on the ball again, prods it out to the right, and we're out down on the wing again. Cuts back, crosses the ball in, and it's cleared away by Hall again. A bit scrappy in the middle of the air, uh, middle of the field there. Keepers rolled it out to the right, and it's a through ball down onto the right wing. It's been intercepted though by Hull. Shots away, and it was a bit of a drift. I didn't really trouble the keeper there. As we come into a shot of Hull with a free kick about 30 yards out, knocks it over the wall, and luckily I'd got my defender on the line. A tactic that I use there to cut, to get somebody on the post it makes it the uh, it makes the goal a much tighter prospect for the free kick taker. It's something I used to do actually when we were, when we were kids playing football. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. And Hull have scored. And he's put it away. Good cross, good header. Poor defending, I'm afraid. Grealish there just got muscled out. And he got the ball in over the back of us. So we've moved on into the second half here. And we're getting it out down the left-hand side of the pitch this time. Crossing the ball in and onto Abraham who's hit the bar. And we've not the next one, the next chance over the bar with Algarzi. Right, we're taking Abraham off and Kajir's coming on. And Grealish there has managed to get on top of the ball in the midfield and he's knocked it over the top to Kajir. And it's a play shot into the corner. Fantastic goal there from Jonathan. Kind of against the runner play, to be honest, because we're under the cosh with Hull. It was one of those scrappy kind of games where most of the games tended to happen in midfield. But, you know, we made enough chances and we finally put one away. <sighs> Referees pulled that up. I want to see the replay because... Not sure that was actually a free kick. It was a decentish tackle, or well, certainly looked like it. I know it was a bit of a lunging, sliding tackle, but and he's yellow carded us. So in the replay here, it's a bit of a lunge, and yeah, he doesn't actually get the ball, does he? So, yeah, fair play. Free kick then to Hull. And it's made its way through to the keeper relatively easily. Great start. Just what you want. First game of the season, first win. Yep, I'll be delighted. Put a lot of work into that. Got the rewards. So as we come off the pitch there, we can see that uh, Hull actually had seven shots on goal there. Only put only two on target. And obviously we only actually had three shots, but um, we, we've managed to get the result that we needed there as we move on into some training and just try to get some higher potential out of our players. Hi there everybody, we're at Villa Park today, Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler, and thanks for joining us for this game. So it's Wigan Athletic today at Villa Park, home fixture, so hopefully that should give us a bit of an advantage. But as we can see here, we, they've got in behind and some woeful defending there from, I think it was Reese Oxford, and unfortunately we've got they've got in behind. It's a terrible goal to give away early on in the... The, this early phase of the game. Just 
Josh Windass with the goal. As we scroll on a bit here, and we, we've got out down the, the side here to Grealish. Oh, that's a fantastic effort. Grealish has popped over the bar there. And frustrating effort. Should have put that in the top corner, really. Wigan on the ball again. Knocking the ball backwards and forwards between one another. And they, they've hit one from distance. In a similar sort of situation to the, the Grealish effort. Big hit there from... McGinn, I think it was. And we've given the ball away again in midfield. Through ball, and that's a sure, surefire goal. 2 0 to Wigan. Out down the wing. Connor McManaman, by the looks of it, on the ball. Out to Evans. Knocks it back. It's really scrappy. Really, really scrappy defending, and it's 3 0 to Wigan. Poor result from us today at home. You can see Alan Hutton there dejected by the result, and as we can see, although we had six shots, only four on target, and it's just not good enough. So, a uh, uh, carryover from the last episode, our hair has gone. That's another 400,000 in the bank or whatever the board decides to give us as we move on to a bit of training again with the team here. And out to the next game. It's cup tie time in the English League Cup. And I can sense the extra buzz amongst the supporters as we came into the stadium. Through Alexandra today against Aston Villa. They should be able to play on a wider front now, Alan, shouldn't they, with the signing of this winger? And augment the midfield when required. I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option. And it's a nice through ball there to Tavernier, and he was offside. He's caught offside, and you see what he's trying to do, it's all about the unfortunate for the debut player. to give those defenders a yard or two, you know, because he's quicker than them. Nice over the top ball, overpowered by Tavernier. Oh, just got it off his toe. And an attack for Crew. Nice tackle there by Jedanak in the centre of uh, midfield. Filling in there and managed to poke that out wide, getting out down the wing here. Quick build up player, hopefully a nice cross. Oh, great header. Tavinier on his debut. Fantastic goal. Another look at it here on the replay, and it's a nice cross. And he, Tavernier's got acres of space. I don't know what the defenders were doing there, but he's managed to get his head on it. And it's a bit of a poor keeping, to be honest. It's straight at him, and he's just let it through his hands. Out down the left hand side again here. Brewster on the ball. He's cut back. Knocked it inside. Oh, and it's another great shot there. So unfortunate not to get his second goal on his debut. Second half now. Knocking the ball out into the, the middle. Oh, and it's another effort from Tavernier. They've got the ball back by that interception. Interception there from Grealish onto McGinn, and we've got through the centre here, Brewster. And it's another goal. Ryan Brewster's managed to score us another goal. It's a play shot into the top left hand corner. It's a great through ball, and he's managed to wrangle it through. No, it was the poacher's effort. The final finish wasn't difficult, but to get there. Took a little bit of instinct. It's a nice placed shot into the top left hand corner. Confirmation then of their success in this cup tie today. Well, they sailed close. It's to the well played by Tavernier. Great, great debut. Really looking forward to playing with this kid for this uh, career mode because he's he's a really talented player out there on the wide position. Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams. As we come to the end of the game there, we can see that Crew actually had 10 shots, but only three on target. As we come out to uh, some transfer activity, uh, we've got an offer here in for Harry McKeardy. So 
we're going to obviously try and do a bit, bit a better deal there and we do we get an extra 10,000 out of the deal and we're going to try and sign another player here so Rico Henry another player that I had in my Warsaw career uh, fantastic young left back can play left midfield really dynamic and we've managed to do a deal there that uh, brings him to the club moving on to our next deal and we're looking to purchase Jamie Patterson again an ex Warsaw player that had um, so I think it was FIFA 14, 15 perhaps that I did a Warsaw career and uh, Patterson was a, a fantastic midfielder then I've continued to use him throughout the career mode um, with Wolves etc he's always pretty solid I'm not c convinced he might be as solid this year because he will lack the amount of growth that pot potential that he had in, in past career modes but I'm still excited to, to get him on board and and just kind of have him there as a, a backup player um, for the, the midfield, especially as we're going to probably let go of the locks as Jedanak in the next window. So yeah, we've got Patterson on board there. So a nice couple of signings um, from the past career modes have, has come into play again there. So we've got an offer in here for Bree, which I declined. Hello everyone, Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith with me as usual. Big welcome to you to today's game. Ipswich Town now against Aston Villa. Well, he really could be the star of the show today. Three in his last three, really been his team's man of the moment. You do not want him to be left isolated, otherwise this formation will not work. Old man Walters there getting the, the promise from the uh, commentary crew as we get it out to the wing and it's a, oh, it's a headed effort. Unlucky there from Al Ghazi. We saw him score a similar goal in the first, I think it was the first episode of this uh, career mode, but he did just couldn't get his head on it as Grealish gets the ball out. Nice hit from distance there. I think that was Yannick Balassi. As we get out there in the wing, right hand side. Going to cut back and get the cross in, and it's another header. And the keeper's managed to save it this time. Well, we could get some news on the injury. I think Jeff Shrees is on the uh, We've moved on into the uh, second half here, and we're going to get the ball out wide. We've got it out to Al Ghazi, and unfortunately, he's got a poor first touch, which has let him down. Ipswich knocking the ball forward, and they've got managed to get in behind. Stunner of a shot, but quite a significant distance wide, I would have thought. Yeah, the replay shows that it was going well wide of the post there. And it's a it's a nil niler, unfortunately, in this game. And it's not the, the best result by any stretch of the imagination. Only a handful of shots. But you have to take the, the, the rough with a smooth and unfortunately sometimes you're going to take draws as we move on to a bit more training with some of our, our youngsters yet again. And uh, I think we'll have a shuffle around in that respect shortly. As we move on to a, a transfer offer from for Hepburn Murphy, which we've accepted, and now we've got another one in for Glenn Whelan. Now, I've played with Glenn Whelan a couple of times and his passing has been a rather flimsy and um, given the ball away in... in decent position so at 34 I think it's time to bank just get that money in uh, and basically let's see what we can do in the future with with that money Hi there everybody welcome to the city of Birmingham to the football ground of Aston Villa Villa Park and Alan Smith who knows these parts of the world very well indeed is uh, smiling away delighted to be here they're not always household names, the full-backs, but I think this player, obviously, he's got the potential to be one. Yeah, we always talk about the attacking qualities of full-backs these days, but what I like about this lad is a, he's an out-and-out -out defender, hard to get past. So we've given Rico Henry his debut against his former club, Brentford. Get the ball upfield here, and we're going to knock one out to the wing. Bree out on the right-hand side, the, the young right-back, 20 years of age, is cut back, he's not the ball in. Oh, and it's unlucky there for Grealish. And the scoring should have been opened. And they get it away. Ball's knocked out to the edge of the box here from the corner. James Chester. Chester's got the ball out on the right-hand side. He knocks the ball inside. Oh, the, there's an opportunity here with Grealish. 
He's held it up and he's knocked it out to Patterson. And Patterson has hit the post and into Grealish. Grealish has knocked it in. Fantastic goal. Great build up from the corner that we had against us. Great cut back there by Patterson onto his right foot. And Grealish is just there to pick up the pieces. He won't score an easier goal than that. Oh, he's managed to get past Henry. Oh, terrible. Terrible, terrible defending. Just as the stadium announcer tells us that Grealish has got the man of the match, we managed to lose the, the lead. Another draw, which won't be satisfying for the board because we are not where we want to be in the table at the moment. One shot on goal. So we can see here, sold uh, Whelan and... Uh, Hepburn Murphy. Hi there everybody, welcome to the city of Birmingham, to the football ground of Aston Villa, Villa Park. And Alan Smith, who knows these parts of the world very well indeed, is uh, smiling away, delighted to be here. So we move on to the next game against Reading. Ooh, stinger of a shot. Keeper had to do a, a, a lot to get that under control. Through ball here. Cuts back. Knocks it in. And it's a goal for Jonathan Kajia. of the trajectory as the ball came in and the contact with the it's head. It's a great header by Kajia. He can jump like he can. He's such a strong player. Very hard to stop. And we're moving on again in, down the centre of the pitch and great through ball from Grealish. He's got Kajia in again. Oh, and how has he missed that one? Significant time. Will that come back to haunt him? They could have been pulling ahead. Thought he was just going to stroke it in the top corner, and he's missed by quite a margin. Quality, not quantity, in terms of shooting. I think so. The team with the most shots, really, at times they were shooting from improbable angles and distances, but uh, the winning side made their chances count. El Mahamadi with the uh, man of the match there. As we move on to a bit of training, we're going to shuffle things up a bit, try and get some of the younger players rotated in so that we can get them uh, some extra training, try to improve their, their stats. James Bree, uh, a player that I obviously initially thought about selling. It's cup tie time in the English League Cup. And I can sense the extra buzz amongst the supporters as we came into the stadium. And here we've got for you today Aston Villa against Leeds United. In the Carabao Cup and Grealish down the middle here. Great interception there. Great interception. Movement two to intercept there. Oof. That's a suicide tattle, tackle, that one is to Nazabe. Easy decision for this referee, and there's going to be no leniency here. It's got to attack. It's looking good from their point okay, of view. Okay, so. And they get it away. He got the ball away here, knocked it upfield. First touch was good, but he's got to work hard to keep the ball. Out down the right hand side. We're just knocking the ball around in the middle of the park here as well, just trying to build up the, the possession and get the right ball into into the players. Sometimes the you have to shuffle the deck and that's what we're doing here. So Grealish out to McGinn and knocked it out wide. He's good. We need a nice cross. And it's a Hutton and it's a fantastic header. What's Alan Hutton doing in the box there? Who cares? Great, great header from the left back. A nice bit of build-up play from us, and we knocked it out to the wing. And Hutton at the back post knocks it in over the top of the keeper. Great header there to hold up the play. Oh, get that ball through. Abraham on the ball. 
and he's powered it into the top corner. Great goal, Abraham. Used his frame and his power there to hold off the play and get into the box. Nice effort. As we see here from the replay, he's put it in the far right-hand corner. Confirmation then of their success in this cup tie today. Well, they sailed close to the wind once or twice, some good saves from the keeper, but I think they just about deserve this win. So as I round out this episode, I'd just like to say thanks for watching. Hit that like button and also subscribe for more content on FIFA 19 career mode.